we are now five. Hope everybody's had a great uh, Thursday afternoon. I think we got Facebook popping off right now. As y'all are checking in, uh, let's get into it. We're going to get this done. We're going to try to get this done in 15 minutes. I keep saying 15 minutes, but now I went 20. So we're going to see if we can make it today. So again, as you get in, Shout yourselves out in the comment section. We're going to get into this. We're going to get started in like 30 seconds. I ain't, I ain't going to give people too much time to get in here. You, you either in or you out, as they say. In or out, as y'all are checking in again, shout yourselves out. I'm going to give everybody like five seconds to get in here. And then we're going to get into this. I'm going to introduce myself, introduce the topic. We're getting straight to it. For those of you who don't know me, what's going on, Arben? For those of you who don't know me, my name is Dre Baldwin, former nine-year professional athlete. Let me tell you what's more important and impressive than that. Author of 27 books, including this book right here, Work On Your Game, and including this one called The Mirror of Motivation. I'm going to tell you how to get this one for free at the end of this presentation right here. It's only going to take 15 minutes. And I created this whole framework, this whole philosophy called Work On Your Game. I make this for three people. The people who need more game, people who need to get better at showing their game, and people who need to get more attention and return on investment for their game. So if you're one of those three people, you're in the right place and you listen to the right person and you are the right person, that's why you're here. If there was somebody better, somebody else would be here on your spot. So what we're talking about here today, this whole philosophy of Work On Your Game, again, I didn't even say it. It's about taking the mental tools you need to succeed in sports, and I translate those for you, even if you don't play sports. I translate and show you how those tools apply at work and how those tools apply at life. You about to get that book, that's what's up, Jay Phillips, that's a great decision. So what we're talking about here today is the greatness equation. All right, there are four different equations that you can try that can get you to greatness. There's only one that actually works. And this is gonna, I'm gonna help everybody in here understand how you're gonna figure out your path to greatness in life because everybody has a path to greatness. The problem is many people try too hard for too long to persist on a path that is not the right path for their greatness. And there are four simple equations. I'm explaining each one of these equations very simply, and maybe I'll go into a little bit of detail, and if I can answer anybody's questions at the end of this, you can post it while I'm talking, but I answer all questions at the end of the presentation. And again, I'm gonna tell you how to get this book for free at the end of the equation. So, I'm gonna help everybody understand the erroneous equations that many people commit to and fail at, and I'm explaining to you the one equation to get the greatness that works. There's actually only one equation for greatness. I'm going to tell you the three that don't work first because there's probably somebody listening to me right now who's working on one of the three that does not work. Let's get straight into it. Number one, this equation does not work. Okay, I'm about to tell you one that does not work. If you have no talent and you do not persist or work hard or grind, all of those same thing. No talent, no persistence equals failure. All right, a person who does not have talent at something and they're not willing to work hard at it, they will fail at it. So if you don't have talent for basketball and you don't work hard at basketball, you'll probably be a terrible basketball player. For example, I don't have talent for tennis. I don't work hard at tennis. I don't practice tennis. I don't play tennis. I'm terrible at tennis. Why? Because I have no talent and I don't work hard at it. We don't have to spend too much time on this one, but this is a simple enough equation. If you know somebody or you yourself, and none of us are talented at everything. So every one of us is terrible at many things in life. That's okay. You don't have to be great at everything. You only have to be good at everything. But understand if you have no talent for something, no natural inclination, and you don't work hard at it, there is no way you will ever be even average at it. You will be terrible. All right, so that is the, that is the equation for failure. All right, this one we don't have to spend too much time on. You're unwilling to do the work, and you have no abilities. Forget it. Let's move on to point number two. Today we are talking the greatness equation. First, I gotta tell you about the equations that don't work. Here's the second equation. Person who has a lot of talent, a good amount of natural ability and natural skill that they didn't even practice for. It's this God-given ability, yet this person is not willing to work hard. What does this person become? This person becomes what we call an underachiever. An underachiever is a person who has a certain level of potential up here, but their achievements are always down here. Their achievements are always way lower than their actual potential. Maybe some of you who are listening to me right now have felt like or maybe been accused of being an underachiever at certain points in your life. And the reason is you have the ability so people can look at you and see, hey, this person could be something in this. The problem is you are not either not doing the work either, or you're not doing the right work or you are not willing to persist in doing the right work. Therefore, you are coming up short of your potential. So then you get frustration. Have you ever had any of you ever had a coach or a trainer or a family member or an associate who was just frustrated with you or you have been frustrated with a person that you knew because you knew how good they could be. But for whatever reason, they didn't quite get there yet. And you're like, why is this person not getting there? Maybe they're doing the wrong work. Maybe they don't want to do the work. Maybe they just don't know. Maybe who knows? You don't know why. But for whatever reason, this person is just coming up short 
of getting to their highest possible level, this is the underachiever individual. They have the skill, but for whatever reason, they are not delivering on that skill. This is what we call the underachiever. This is the person that they are could have been, would have been, should have been. Some people call them a wasted talent. Some people call it a missed opportunity. These are the most frustrating people to see, frustrating people to see because you can see the opportunity. You can see the potential in them. When you see them, I remember I knew a girl, she was a really good singer, talented singer. I'm not, a, a, I'm not like Simon Cowell or Randy Jackson when it comes to evaluating singing talent, but I could tell she was a very talented singer. A lot of people like to listen to her sing. And I told her, even though I'm not a, a singing expert, I don't work in the music industry, I said, listen, if you get on YouTube, this is way before YouTube became YouTube. I told her, I said, get on YouTube and do like a cover song. So you like Rihanna, you like Michael Jackson, you like Whitney Houston, do a cover song like every day for a year and just put it up on YouTube. People are gonna see you and she, this is a good looking girl too. She looked good, she had a nice voice, she liked to sing. I said, just do that every day. Said, well, how long it take to do a cover song? Five minutes, do that every day for a year. I guarantee people are gonna start noticing you, you're gonna get yourself a name, you're gonna get recognized. This is before people even knew me on YouTube. I told her to do this, she didn't wanna do the work. So she became an underachiever, and to this day, I know I don't know what she does for a living, but I know it ain't singing. She blew her opportunity, she blew her talent because she was not willing to do the work. This is the type; these are the type of people who you're like, damn, if they would just do this, if they would just figure this out, they would just listen to what people are telling them. They can make the most of their talent, but they're just either not willing to do it, or they are just completely ignorant of the opportunity in front of them and they end up doing nothing. Their tools eventually rust out, meaning they just didn't use the tools. They never got a chance to make the most of the tools. Maybe this has been you. Maybe you figured it out once somebody you know, got it into your head. Maybe you heard it from me. But the underachiever is the most frustrating person on the planet because they could have done it. They just didn't want to do it. All right, and there's a huge difference between if you can do it and if you want to do it. Sometimes you just can't do something and you want to do it. We're going to get to that person in a minute. But if you can and you just don't want to, that becomes just a that's just the type, type of person you just got to shake your head like damn they could have been something but they chose not to be point number three topic here today we're talking the greatness equation i got to tell you about the three equations that do not work i just told you the first one and the second one here's the third one this is the third equation that does not work okay this is the equation that a whole lot of people think works this is one of the most popular equations that does not work especially talking about the sports world coming from the world that i come from being a professional athlete a lot of athletes think that this third equation that I'm about to describe to you, they think this works. They think this can make them great. They think this can get them to the highest possible level of what they do. That is completely false. It is wrong. Your favorite motivators might tell you. People might write books about this bullshit. It does not work. Let me tell you what this third equation is that does not work. This is when you do not have talent. You do not have natural ability. However, you are willing to work really, really hard at this thing in which you have no talent. This is a recipe for what we call mediocrity. And I'm pausing there to let that one sink in. If you do not have natural ability, you do not have talent for something, but you work really hard at it and you grind and your team no sleep and you hustle and you, I don't know, whatever other cliches they got out there that you know, they passing around to y'all these days. I don't even know what they are. Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. That bullshit motivational statement. These things lead you to mediocrity. That's where you're going to end up if you have no talent, but you work hard. Now, I'm not understand something about me. I'm not telling you not to do it. I'm not telling you don't do it. I'm not telling you what to do or what not to do. All I'm doing here is giving you the game. I give you the game. Look, the book is called Work On Your Game. I'm going to give you the game. You can do whatever you want with this. So if you want to follow one of these three failing equations, you do whatever the hell you want. And if you prove me wrong, then you write a book about it. But for the most part, you're going to prove yourself wrong and you won't write a book about it because ain't nobody going to want to read it because you didn't achieve anything. The mediocre people on this planet are the people who work really hard at something at which they have no talent. They have no ability. They have no skill. So then they just start working hard at something. So they're like, oh, they heard Kevin Durant said this or XYZ motivational speaker said it or they think somebody like me said it or they think they heard Kobe Bryant did it one day or something, something that they heard. All right, bullshit. All of it is bullshit. All of it is a lie. It does not work. Well, it does work. If you want to be mediocre, it works. If your aim in life is to be mediocre, I mean, you're going to be middle of the pack, average, living at the bottom of the pyramid. There's not going to be anything exceptional about you. If that's what you want in your life, then go ahead and work hard at something at which you have no talent. You will end up mediocre. Nobody will know your name. Nobody will remember you. Nobody's going to be saying your quotes on their social media because you're going to be mediocre. Right, there's not going to be anything exceptional or memorable about you. Is this what you want? Hopefully, if you're listening to me, this is not what you want because you are not my target audience. So how I was able to get your attention, I have no idea. 
All right, these are the average individuals. Persistence alone, let me be clear. I wanna make sure I'm on the record here. Persistence alone will not make you great. Did everybody hear what I just said? Persistence alone will not make you great. I know you've heard that Kobe worked out eight hours a day and slept 30 minutes. All right, he had talent. All right, Kobe had talent at basketball. That's why he was so damn good. Yes, he worked hard and he had talent. That's why he was good. LeBron James, he works really hard and he has talent. Beyonce, she works hard and she has talent. Rihanna works hard and talent. Bill Gates works hard and talent. It's a combination of both. If you do not have the talent and you work hard, you will not get to the level of those individuals or anything close to them. You will be mediocre. Maybe you got all the, you got all the motivational quotes memorized and downloaded into your brain without talent. All that motivation is not going to take you anywhere memorable. All right. It might get you to it'll get you to a certain point at the amateur level. You step into the professional level of anything that you do with no talent. You're going to get your ass kicked. I don't care if you're a singer, if you're a computer programmer, if you're a professional speaker, if you're a baseball player, if you do not have talent, when you step into the professional ranks, you are going to get your ass kicked all over the room, all up and down the court, all across the stage, whatever platform it is, you will not survive because it will be so clear the very first day, like, damn, these people got a level of ability that I just ain't got. All right, I don't belong here. You will know the first day it will be clear you shouldn't be there. I want to make sure I'm spending a lot of time on this one because I want to make sure people understand where I, where I stand on this. And let me explain to you all why, because some of you might be thinking right now, well, Dre, my, my coach in, in college or some athlete that I like or some speaker that I listen to or some YouTuber that I watch every day, they got videos talking about the exact opposite of what you're saying, Dre. They say you can grind, and you can hustle and you can make it. Or, you know, my cousin from around the corner, he said he didn't have a whole lot of talent, but he worked really hard and he was surpassing people who had more talent than him and he quote unquote made it. What are you talking about, Dre? What are you saying? Why do all these people who are successful always say hard work can beat talent? Why do these people, when they win an award, somebody wins an Oscar award or a Grammy award or the NBA MVP trophy, and you ask them how they became successful, they say hard work. That's what they all say, right? You ask the Greek freak, how'd you win MVP? Hard work. You ask LeBron, what makes you so good at basketball? Hard work. You ask uh, Rihanna, Kelly Clarkson, Taylor Swift, what makes you such a great singer? Hard work. You ask Bill Gates, how'd you become such a great computer genius? Hard work. They all say hard work whenever you ask them how they became successful. Why are they saying this, Dre, if you're saying the exact opposite? Are you right and they're all wrong? No. They are right because they can't explain what I can explain. All right. This is the reason why I'm explaining this point and they're not. All right. This is the reason why uh, LeBron James can't do what I do. I don't do what he does either, but he can't do what I do. I can do, I can come closer to doing what he does and he can come to doing what I do. Let's put it like that. Okay, shout out to LeBron. But I can play basketball. He can't do this. All right, I can explain this. The reason why all your favorite motivators or speakers or uh, what do they call these people? Influencers trying to tell you all these hardworking quotes and things to reflect success and they tell you you can become successful like them and then they make videos behind the scenes showing you how they're working hard every day. Listen, let me explain to you why they tell you these things. It is not because they're lying to you. It is not because they are trying to mislead you. They're telling you this because they do not know what they do not know. Some people are good at doing things but they're terrible at explaining them. I happen to be a rare breed of person who can do things and I can explain it and I can break it down. LeBron James, again, he can't break it down. Beyonce can't break it down. Most of your favorite motivators cannot break it down the way that I do. And some of them, I'm going to get to that. Let me get to that in a minute. The reason why they tell you that hard work is the key to success. So LeBron will tell you hard work or whoever will tell you hard work. All right. Motivational speaker X will tell you hard work. The reason they tell you that is because they do work hard and they want you to believe that you can become them. All right. Beyonce wants you to think you can become her. Why? So that you buy tickets to go to her concert. LeBron James wants you to believe that you can become LeBron James. You know why? So you buy his sneakers. All right. Then he just put out a new pair of sneakers. I was in a Nike store last week. I seen a pair of LeBrons I ain't never seen before. He got a new pair out, right? The reason why these people who are wildly successful and publicly noted for their success cite hard work as the key to their success because anybody can work hard, right? Everybody knows that hard work is available to everybody. 
The reason they tell you this is because they want you to believe unconsciously or consciously that you can become them. And if you believe you can become LeBron or Beyonce or Rihanna, you know what you're going to do? You're going to buy their stuff. You're going to go sell out their merch. You're going to come to their concerts. You're going to buy their sneakers. You're going to follow them on social media. and You're going to retweet their motivational bullshit when they post it. All right. That's the reason why they tell you that hard work can beat talent when it is complete. Bullshit is a lie. They halfway know that they're bullshitting you and they halfway don't know. All right, as I just said, that some of them just don't know what they don't know. All right, just because you are talented at one thing, again, doesn't mean you can explain how you got there. A lot of them can't explain it because it's a natural gift. They can kind of tell you that, but they won't really tell you straight up the way I'm telling you because it would discourage a lot of people. Like right now, if I tell you the reason I became a pro basketball player, yes, I work hard. I've created this whole thing called fucking work on your game. Of course I work hard. Y'all saw the videos on YouTube every day for damn near 10 years. Yes, I work hard. Absolutely, I work hard. But understand, if I didn't have the talent to go, go with the hard work, all that hard work wouldn't have meant nothing. All right? But most people won't tell you that. I will tell you that. That if you're working hard at something in which you lack the talent, you will not become Beyonce. I don't care how many singing lessons you take. Are right, you not going to become, uh, who's, what's the chick? Sierra. I don't care how many dancing lessons you take. All right, you are not going to become, name somebody else's wild, easy successful. You don't have the talent that they have. You don't have Steve Jobs' proclivity for computers and his visionary mindset. You will not make the next Apple. I don't care how much time you spend in the computer lab or how much time you spend learning how to code. All right, you will not become him because he had abilities that most people just don't have. And I'm going to tell you how this can work for you, though. So don't take this. This may feel discouraging right now, but I'm not done. All right. I'm still on point number three. I got four points right here. So don't don't turn this off. We're not done. Persistence alone does not make you great. Everybody got that. It makes you replacement level. All right. Replacement level means average, means mediocre. It means you'll be good enough, but nobody's going to remember you. You're not going to reach the upper echelons of anything. And that's just what it is, okay? If you're five feet, seven inches tall, I don't care how hard you work at basketball, you probably ain't making it to the NBA, all right? Maybe you'll make it to play college and not be the end of your road. You're probably not going to the league. You're probably not going to play professionally. That's just what it is, all right? Now, again, are there exceptions? Is there one or two, five, seven guys playing pro ball somewhere in the world? Probably. Now, are you going to bet your whole career or your success on you becoming the third one? Hey, it's up to you. Good luck. All right, if you want to go after that, but don't act like nobody told you the situation. All right, you could be the hardest worker in the neighborhood. If I'm the hardest working construction worker in this neighborhood right here, but I have no hammers, no nails, no cement, no wood, no, no concrete blocks. Can I build a building? Maybe, but it might take me a thousand years to build a building. All right, but if somebody got all the tools, they got the cranes, they got a team, they got architects, they got a blueprint and they don't have, they don't work. They work half as hard as I work. Who's going to build the building faster, them or me? Of course, them. Why? Because they got the tools. They have the ability. If you don't have the tools, you will come up short. All right, have I made this clear? Good. Point number four. The topic here today is the talent, the greatness equation, brother. Now, let me tell you what works. All right, I told you all the things that don't work. I cleared up the most egregious uh, piece of bullshit that y'all get told over and over again by people who are not trying to mislead you. Not all the way. They just don't know what they don't know. But I know it. Here's the greatness equation. Everybody listen up and write this down. Talent plus persistence equals greatness. You become great when you combine a natural ability, natural gifts, God-given abilities with hard work, persistence, grit, determination, no team, no sleep, hustle, whatever you want to call that, heart, all that, okay? But you have to combine it with some natural abilities. Now, here's the question somebody may ask. Well, Dre, what if I don't have natural abilities? Because we know hard work is a choice, all right? You can choose to work hard at anything you want. You can't choose to be talented. So the question is, Dre, what if I don't have talent? What am I supposed to do? Let me tell you what you do. Go find the thing in which you do have talent. And here's the secret. Everybody listening to me right now, I don't care when you listen, you can be watching this video in 2045. This will be evergreen, legitimate content the day that you listen to it. Everybody has talent at something. Everybody has talent at something. The problem is, in our world today, too many people are trying to be talented as something in which they are not talented. Too many people are trying to be something somewhere where they do not belong. It's too many people trying to become basketball players. Ain't that many people with that much talent at basketball. It's too many people trying to be rappers who ain't got the talent for rapping. Too many people want to be Instagram models who ain't going to be Instagram models. Too many people trying to do things that they are not talented at simply because they see everybody else doing it and it looks like the popular thing and it's the, the trendy thing to do right now. So they're trying to become something that they shouldn't be trying to be 
and they waste a huge percentage of the most viable resource they have, which is your time, your life, trying to be something that you're not. The sooner that you figure out that you don't belong in a certain place, that this is not where your talent is, and you start looking, just looking for where your talent is at, and stop looking in the wrong places, and try to find the right place, now you're on the right track to success. Now you're on the right track to greatness. I can't tell you all how many people over the last, I can say just the last five years. So I've been, I was posting basketball videos on YouTube in 2006, and I'd post basketball videos on YouTube for like 10 years straight. I can't tell you, just over the last five years, since I stopped playing ball, how many people have come to me and said, Dre, I used to watch your basketball videos every day when I thought I was going to go play in the NBA or I thought I was going to play in college or I was trying to make the team in high school. But, you know, I eventually stopped playing ball like that because I realized it wasn't my thing. But the stuff you talked about, the mental stuff, I went and applied that somewhere else in my life. And now I got my own IT firm. Now I run my own software company. I just met a dude the other day in my neighborhood. I was taking a walk. He was like, yo, I got my own software company, Dre, all the stuff you put out about ball. I appreciate it. I don't even play ball anymore like that. But I, it's people in work on your game university who told me, like, I was trying to play ball. I realized it wasn't my thing. Now I'm in, in the multimedia world. Now, you know, I work at a bank. Now I run my own business. So many athletes who thought athletics was their thing, but they realized, all right, this is not my thing. Let me go do something else. And these are people that these are the people who they got lucky because they figured it out before they turned 25. It's people out here 40 trying to be something that they ain't going to be. All right, so all of you out here, I don't care what age you are, because the only time you got is right now. The only time it ever is is right now today. All right, figure out where your talent's at. If you don't know where your talent's at, it's probably not where you're at right now. Because if, you, if it's where you're at right now, you will probably have some inkling, some idea. Where do you have some natural God-given abilities that other people just don't have? That's what I mean when I say talent. Natural God-given ability. I'm not, I'm not talking about you can earn talent or you can work hard and become talented. Skill can turn into talent. I'm not talking about any of that. When I say talent in this conversation today, I might use it differently in a different conversation. In this conversation, I call talent natural God-given ability. If you do not have it in the thing that you're doing, you can never become great at that thing. You could be okay. You can get a paycheck. You can have a career. You can work there for 40 years and retire and get social security and a pension if that's what you want. If you want to be great, you got to do something in which you have talent. If you don't know what that is, you got to keep looking. If you want help, join us at Work On Your Game University. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Now, I've already gone over my 15-minute limit. I, got, I knew that I would. But anyway, we, I had to get this message out to make sure everybody got it. So I'm going to – everybody got these equations. I'm going to tell you these four points again. I'm going to tell you how to get this book for free, like I promise you. And I'm going to answer questions. So if you got a question, post in the comment section right now. The greatness equation. There are only four equations. Here's the first one that does not work. No talent. Plus no persistence means you will fail. The second equation, it does not work. When you have talent, but you are not willing to persist, you become an underachiever. That means you have all this potential, but you don't use it. This is a frustrating person. The third equation that does not work is when you have no talent, but you work really hard. You become a mediocrity, meaning you are trying really hard and you're given all this effort. But because you have no talent, there is a ceiling, not a glass ceiling, but a concrete ceiling that you will bang your head on because you're trying to get somewhere that you are incapable of getting because you don't have ability. The fourth one, this is the only one that works. If you want to be great in life, you must combine talent with persistence and hard work. When you combine the two, you get Beyonce, you get LeBron, you get Kobe Bryant, you get Bill Gates and Steve Jobs and whoever else you want to name, Dre Baldwin. When you combine talent and hard work, but you must figure out where your talent is at. Everybody is talented at at least one thing. Most of us are talented at two, three, four or five things. But many people spend their whole lives trying to force their way into being talented at something in which they don't have talent, thus be ignoring their talent where it actually exists. And these people become failures. And then when they die, they take all of their value to the most valuable real estate on earth. Y'all know what that is? It's not a casino. It's not a mansion. It's called the graveyard. That's all the value in the world of all these people who never got their talent out of them. They die and it gets buried six feet under the ground. All that being said, you want to get this book, The Mirror of Motivation. Go to mirrorofmotivation.com. I'm giving you the book for free. I've already paid for the book. All you do is cover the shipping. The link, the URL is mirrorofmotivation.com. Just covering up the word the. It's mirrorofmotivation.com. This book is subtitled The Self God, The Self Discipline. The reason you want this is because everybody who's watching me is willing to, everybody's watching me has goals and you're willing to work hard, like we just talked about. The challenge is many people never ask themselves the true question, the key question who do I need to be? What type of person do I need to be? What kind of energy do I need to have? How do I need to approach life? How do I want people to feel when they come across me on a day to day basis? That question who do I need to be? 
This book provides the frameworks for you to answer that question. That is the key question. When you answer that, then you go do your hard work, then you'll get the results that you want. If you don't believe me, I'm gonna give you the book for free so you can see for yourself. You don't like it, you can send, you can keep the book, tell me, I'll give you money back for your shipping. Pay for a small shipping charge, I'm gonna ship this book to you worldwide, anywhere you live. Again, it's mirrorofmotivation.com. Everybody got that. Let me take questions. If anybody got them, post them in the comments section right now. I'm gonna address these and I already went over my time. Sawe checking in from Jordan, what's going on? Jay Phillips said about to order that book. All right, Jay Phillips, we're going to ship it out to you. Go ahead and post that. Coach Bruce Kennedy said, let's chop it up on a joint call soon. Or Bruce Kennedy, I mean, you see I'm cooking o- over here. I don't know if I need, I don't need a co-host. I appreciate the offer. I respect you for the offer, but I, I, I cook solo. <laughs> Money May said, ET said that. Yeah, well, see, he's hyping up. He's hyping up the mediocre to become a little bit better than mediocre, and that's that's fine. Ain't nothing wrong with that, but just don't confuse me with him. Sawe said, Ronaldo said, if you don't have talent, forget it. Good. Well, Ronaldo got it right, but talent is enough. That's exactly right. Ronaldo got it right, but Ronaldo can't explain it the way that I can. Mozart said, Beyonce can break it down and dance for it. That's a fact. That's why Beyonce is Beyonce. Money May said. Some motivators are reflecting a dream superhero image in order to augment their value in the marketing and notoriety aspect. Uh, I believe that. I think a lot of people do that. That People do that in all fields. That ain't just uh, motivators. Everybody does it. Beyonce does it. (laughs) The thing with Beyonce is she succeeded at it, so people bought into it. Sale said in basketball, I'm afraid to burn out my potential. There's no such thing as burning out your potential. You can waste your potential, but you can't burn it out. Nick Wood, Nick Wood said, how do I know something is my talent? It's when you have natural abilities that other people do not have. You have natural skills and natural inclinations that other people just don't have in your field. But I'll also tell you that I've done master classes on this topic. Nick 23 Wood. I talked about talent on several master classes on my show. Episode number 1512. Episode number 1493. Episode number 1442. Episode number 1252. Episode 884, episode number 728, episode number 722. I talked about talent in all those episodes, all those numbers that I just listed. The show is called Work On Your Game. It's on all platforms, Apple, Spotify, Google Play. Y'all know how to find podcasts, right? Mine is called a Masterclass, but it's on the podcast app. Again, just look me up. It's called Work On Your Game. My show comes out every single day, in case y'all didn't know. Today, was, today we put out episode number, I think it was 1650. 1,650. That show comes out every day. So y'all do the math on that. So I think the persistence is there. <laughs> All that said, mirrorofmotivation.com. The book is already paid for. You cover the shipping. I might do another live tomorrow. We'll see. Brandon Chris, what's going on over there on Facebook? Everybody have a great night. I'm already over my time limit. Work on your game. Be out of here. Dre all day.